I never witnessed the happy years between my mom and my dad. I only saw the downward spiral. My dad almost killed me one time. When I was younger, I couldn't swim. My dad said, boy, you better stop playing, get in that water and swim. That's no damn serious. Nobody ever told me how to swim. My dad picked me up, grabbed me, threw me in seven feet. As soon as I hit the water, I started to die immediately. This is what my dad asshole. This is what my dad said. Hey, you better not fucking drown. You have thrown your son in a pool in which he almost dies. You steal a police dog. You ruin your son's spelling bee competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those true? Yeah. Were you stoned at the time? My dad took me to the wrong to the wrong camp and left me there. Oh my god. The reason why I am the way I am is because my mom was strong. As a single mother, I think we never knew how hard she was struggling. You know, of course there was disappointment. Damn, I thought dad was coming to pick us up today. Or damn, man, we're oh, I ain't seen dad and I don't know how long he's not picking up the phone, he's not answering the calls. It may have affected my mom, but my mom was such a strong woman that she said, look, regardless of what your father's doing and where he is, I have a job to do in raising you. She figured that if she can keep me off the streets, then I wouldn't turn out like him. She had more strength and fight in her than any woman that I've ever met. She's a beast. She's a different animal. And she helped you out financially, didn't she? Yeah, she did. She supported me. I haven't paid my rent in like a month. I'm like, Mom, you know, the rent, where's the rent at? She's like, are you reading your Bible? I said, Mom, come on. I don't have time to talk about that right now. Mom, I'm late. Like, I need the rent money. Are you reading your Bible? Mom, no. When you read your Bible, then we'll talk about rent. A month go by. I get eviction notice on my door. They're about to kick me out. I'm like, Mom, I go to her house. I got the eviction notice. She said, Talk to me when you read your Bible. I, I can't talk to you right now. I just leave. <laughs> I go home. I said, man, let me open this Bible up. Open the Bible up. Six rent checks fall out. She put all my rent checks. From that six months throughout the rest of the year, they were all there. That's the love of your life. Your mother's everything. Your mom's everything. Kevin getting his act together. He wants y'all to see how he dance. He's gonna act stupid for you for a while. Ovarian cancer. Bad as a death sentence. Mom passed away. So my mom never came to any shows. Never, not one time. My mom passed away five years ago. We're at the funeral. Funeral's almost over. So I'm on the right side. I got the casket over here. My brother's on the left side. He's got the casket over there. Keep in mind, it's my mother, and it's a funeral, so I'm emotional. I'm crying. I'm a mess. No. <laughs> No, she, she wasn't ready, she wasn't ready. So this is why my dad's an asshole. My dad see me crying, my dad stood up, punched me in the back of the head. Stop being a bitch. With my dad, mm -hmm. I've had the feeling of absent father. I got to witness my mom want more and go after more. There's a, a high level of success that goes behind the brand of Kevin Hart. It's the best or nothing else. That's my mindset. Your dad's on the road a lot. Uh, I do miss him when he's not around. I just wanted to call you and tell you happy birthday. I love you, man. You having a good time? Yeah. There is a way to do more, to get more, to obtain more. But I personally don't want to lose all that I've been able to get. So I need to make sure that I do everything to keep it. He is not human. He's a machine. I will say that he can go on two or three hours no sleep. You know the last time you showered? When? The day before yesterday. My husband has not bathed in two days. <laughs> you ain't home. You've been out. There's times when I tell him to slow down, but it's just in him. He's a hustler. He's not going to just sit down and be content. He has to keep going. Would it be better for me going to kids if I would stop touring? Of course, they want me home. But my response is, ain't gonna be no goddamn home. I'm doing it for you guys, so I can't be content. Actor and comedian Kevin Hart had to be hospitalized after being badly hurt in a Calabasas car crash. Kevin Hart now recovers from back surgery. He suffered three fractures in his spine. Basically, what you realize is that you're not in control. No matter how much you think you're in control, you're not in control. At the end of the day, it can all be over, man. You know, when you're moving too fast and you're doing too much, sometimes you can't see 
the things that you're meant to see. But after my accident, I see things differently. I see life from a whole new perspective. I know what it's like not to be a good dad. I learned that because of the mistakes that my dad made. I'm the same way with my kids. I know what that is. I know what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Because of that, I bust my ass getting back to see my kids. I don't know who my dad's dad was. I can tell you that he is the way he is for a reason. You gotta understand you're a product of your environment. When you can kick an addiction, that's evolving. I have no grudge. I have no hate. I have no resentment. The older you get, the more you mature. And I can say right now, I'm at a, the highest level of maturity I've ever been in my life. And I gotta say, it's because of this man right here. You know, me and my dad's relationship now has developed into an amazing relationship. I'm, I'm proud of what he's become. I'm glad God granted me the time to stay here to see him. And I remember the days of when my dad was there when I was younger, and those were some of the best days ever. With my kids, you know, I make sure I nurture it from the ground up. The way that the child lights up, I don't ever want to lose that light up. So I talk, I communicate. This is our little family. That last name Hart right here. If we don't try to make this last name mean something, then we have nothing that's going to live on. My last name means something now, but it's because we made it mean something. Nothing beats the relationship that you have with your kids.